everyone. Welcome to Kim Yin Yoga. I'm Kim. This is Sin. And today we're going to do a beautiful series of stretches to get the body loose and fluid and ready for anything. If you like these videos, go ahead and give them a thumbs up. Join the channel by subscribing. Your presence is so appreciated. seated position of your choice, we're going to begin with these beautiful circular cat-cows straight into it. So stretch the body forward, lift the chin, pull the arms back and stretch that upper back body, chin down. So I'm kind of leveraging myself around in a circle. Reverse it. <laughs> really exaggerate it. Warm up your spine, shoulders, neck. One more circle. <laughs> Seated cat cows. <laughs> and find your center. We'll do that again with hands up over the head. Clasp the hands together and turn them around. And from here, we're going to do seated cat cow. Chin up, arch the back, deep breath in. Exhale, drop, chin to chest. Up we come again. These are the cows. Exhale out for the cat. My thumbs are right down on the mat. I'm pushing hard through from my shoulders. Up we come, and exhale it out for cat release, and from here we're going to go into, <laughs> we're going to go into a side body stretch to warm us up for Janu Susasana. Now that means I'm in a half butterfly, half wide legged position. And you can do this a couple different ways. You can take the flat of your hand, lay it down, and we're going to come over like this. <laughs> Meow. It's a cat in the tail in the way. And I'm turning my face up towards the ceiling. My gosh, it's an incredible stretch right from the left hip, the psoas. You can also take that hand and grab the ankle if that gives you a better... Um, position. I'm going for here. Deep breath in. Exhale it out. We're going straight to the other side. Coming back for Janu Susasana. Uh, we're doing a lot of alternating moves in this stretch warm-up. So again, you can plant your hand here on the heel or ankle and arch it over, or that hand can lay flat. I kind of like this for guiding my way down <laughs> to find my toes. doesn't matter how far you bend down. And I'm looking up towards the ceiling, stretching out. This is just incredible stretch all along here. Looking up at the ceiling, exhaling out, come back up. And now we're ready for Jean-Nur Sassana. I'm switching <clears throat> again to the other side. And it's a seated tree, so I'm in a half uh, dandasana, half butterfly. And from here, I some people are going to uh, ask you to lift your hands and melt it forward. You go ahead and do that if you can. My back doesn't do that. <laughs> it didn't go that way. So modify to what works for you. Start out with your fingers tented and bring it on down and just... Bring it to where you feel your edge. This is the key. You go down to your edge. No further. <laughs> Don't go any further than you can bend. But you want to feel something. So it's not restorative in the sense that you are just relaxing everything out. We, we do want to relax the muscles but we are stretching hamstrings here, and I want you to feel that. Three deep breaths here. Cool. 
close the eyes, go in, and relax everything. And as you exhale out the third breath, come on back up. And we're just going to switch over to the other side. Oh, there's my kitty. Hello. Oh, poke. That was notes tree. I was doing the wrong thing. Okay, so Dandasana again with the left leg. It's a seated tree pose, so my right foot is pushing into my left thigh. Tent the fingers back straight, and I'm going to go visit my kitty cat. Meow. Hello. Not your butt. <laughs> and forward we go. Janusasana, one of the most wonderful stretches you can do for your body. And down we go. And we're going to have deep breaths here. And I'm feeling an edge. Of course, I'm feeling a stretch in my hamstrings. but And I want to maintain that stretch, but I want to relax everything. So my shoulders are relaxed, my hands. You might even turn your palms upwards so you're not holding tension in your hands. I'm relaxing my forehead into the mat, but it doesn't matter where your head and hands are here. They might be up higher. You just find a way to let everything go. Three deep breaths. Every exhale, we just melt deeper. One more deep breath in. And as we exhale it out, release the stretch slowly. Up we come. And we're flipping over onto the back and we're going to do this little core stretch, which is really wonderful for oh, my back, all kinds of things. <laughs> so feet on the mat, knees up, and we're going to have hands up over the head. And I'm I don't know if you can see through this kitty. I'll scoot down. I am arching the back. So I've got this uh, rainbow arch going on here. Stretching, arching the back. And as the hands come up, Uddiyata Bandha, I am pulling navel to spine. And also, you've heard me say this before in the Cora workout, pushing my abs into my fingers here. Hands out and airway open, deep breath in here, exhale it out. Now I am arching back up into cow. You might like to roll your eyes up and look right behind you, deep breath in here. Exhale it out, I am pushing again, Uddiyata Bandha, pushing my lower back into the mat, hands out. I'm also pressing my abdominal wall up, so I'm full isometric core engagement. Deep breath in here. Exhale out to the rainbow arch. We're going to do this one more time. Really exaggerate that arch unless you're tending to a sore back, and then you're going to control how much you're going to let that arch. And up we come. Pressing the spine into the mat, Uddiyata Bandha drawing the navel to the spine, pushing the abs up, this double uh, isometric move, deep breath in, and exhale it out. Do a quick uh, legs up the imaginary wall, stretch, 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 and go ahead and actually let's just do some, because we got the cat influence here, let's just do some cat making bread moves. This is so good for the wrists, the toes, the ankles. Stretch, 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 and relax. Just take a moment here. Deep breaths. And let the body just chill for a moment. All right. From here, I'm going to not miss the opportunity Grab your feet with your toes, come into Manchak Chia. I'm clasping my wrists, 
head up in a kind of bound hedgehog with knees wide and I'm isometric, pushing my knees into my elbow creases, elbow creases holding them in, <laughs> not letting anything out, flattening my back into the mat, deep breath in, and exhale it out. Okay, feet back to the mat. Now, from here, you can just go ahead and nest your, oh, I don't want to squish my kitty, okay, you can nest your hands behind your uh, head like this, and you can even use your thumbs to just kind of activate some meridians there. I'm going to go like, uh, just have cactus arms so I don't um, disturb Sin. Oops, I disturbed him. Okay. okay, go ahead and do this then. <laughs> All right, we're doing some side body twists to really stretch the spine, loosening it up before we do our final leg stretch, leg and hip stretch. So let's just roll them back and forth. Go ahead and keep it slow so the core is engaged. I'm not just letting them crash down into the floor. I am keeping it very measured <laughs> so that I'm using as much core and as much uh, side body and spinal uh, twist as possible and just rolling over that pelvis feels so good. Okay, from here, just to add in for the wrists, I'm going to tuck my hands under my bum and go ahead and do a lovely windshield wiper and create a little space here. And we're ready. We're up here in Vishnu's couch. <laughs> and we are now ready for our final <laughs> stretch of this sequence. And what we're going to do to get into it, we're going to go ahead and uh, uh, the left leg goes into uh, butterfly. So it's like reclined butterfly. So just feel out your reclined butterfly for a minute. And then we're going to take, it's cat pulling the tail, we're going to take the right foot, that's the kitty's tail, and I'm bringing it back the other way. So left hand can uh, just rest on the belly, and my right hand is holding on to that cat's tail. Not going to demonstrate <laughs> on him. So we're just going to have some beautiful deep breaths here, and what I love to do is find that beautiful soft susurration sounds for my ujjayi breath. Close the eyes and allow that wonderful hip stretch, pelvis is stretching. We've got an internal and external rotation. Soften the shoulder blades into the mat. Relax the entire body. Three more long, slow, deep breaths. And while your eyes are closed, just check in to the sensations that your body is feeling. Final breath in. And as I exhale, I'm going to very slowly, a little bit gingerly, bring my knees back up. Bring that, I'm helping the foot. It doesn't have to do it by itself. Back up, and we're going to do the other side. So right leg opens into the butterfly. Go ahead. Oh, there's Rob. We get both the guys. Um, go ahead and go into the butterfly so you really get that feeling. And then lifting the left leg, I'm grabbing the foot. This is the cat's tail and I am giving it a little attention. I'm just going to take my right hand and lay it on my belly and this encourages a kind of a melting and a relaxation into the mat. Boys. <laughs> 
What you do? I love my cat so much. <laughs> I hope they're not doing anything rude or inappropriate there with the camera. <laughs> okay, close your eyes because as we close our eyes, the external world goes away and the inner world wakes up. So I'm just relaxing to the sound of cat biggies being chewed and crunched. Ujjayi breath. Three more long, slow, deep breaths with the beautiful relaxation into the mat. Feel your belly rise and fall. One more long, slow, deep breath in. And as I exhale it out, I'm going to put energy into this left leg and just give it a hand as you lift it up. Bring the other right knee to match. And I'm going to stretch out long from the mat. Big stretch overhead, arms down to the side. And favorite one, wiggle asana. You know how to do it. Pelvis is the epicenter. I am rocking, shimmying my pelvis back and forth. And I can use kind of alternate between my shoulder blades being the epicenter, my pelvis being the epicenter, and it rocks the, the spine. <laughs> it's just amazing. Feet are just flopping, everything. Let go, let go, let go. Deep breath in. Exhale it all out to stillness. Up a deep breath in. Exhale it out, even with a sigh. Oh. One more deep breath in. Exhale it out. And I'm going to draw my feet up under me, rolling over to the side. No kick jumps up. Pushing back up to seated. Somebody wants their third breakfast. <laughs> Find our seated position, arms up over the head, Anjali Mudra, thumbs to the sternum, sternum to the thumb. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. See you next time.